So we're packed up, uh, ready to go. We're uh, gonna get up sometime between three, four, five tomorrow morning on Saturday morning. Go to the park for a quick walk. Uh, we're gonna try and get in the car. Hopefully we're on the road rolling out of New York by about 6 a.m. tomorrow. And we're gonna head down to North Carolina, I believe it is. That's about eight hours away on Google Maps or 12 hours with the dog. Um, and we'll let you check in and let you know how it's going on the way. Well, uh, good morning. It's the morning of the road trip. We are behind us is the Hellgate Bridge. Uh, this is a place called Hellgate in Queens, New York. Uh, if you Google it, you'll find it's an interesting disaster that happened here. It's unknown. And um, right behind us, that's the RFK Bridge. That's where we'll be leaving from. We're going to go to the RFK Bridge, Robert F. Kennedy Bridge, the George Washington Bridge, and then into New Jersey and start our way down. We're a little bit late this morning. Our, uh, my dependable Sheltie who comes in bed every morning between 3 and 3.15 decided to wake up at 3.56 this morning, but it's all good. We probably slept in. We'll check in from the road. So we got here at 5.45 this morning and we finally got a car at 7.28. Their credit cards were down. Anyways, we didn't get the car we wanted. We, whatever. We're on our way. We're late again. We'll see how we go. Here's the mighty discovery. So we're packed up. We've had quite the adventure. We got to Avis at 545. We left at 745 because our credit card system was down. We didn't get, they didn't have the car we were supposed to have, the Ford Explorer, but I guess we got a Range Rover. So, or Land Rover, that's what it is. So I guess that's not too bad. Pia's packed up, ready to go. We're tired, exhausted. It's 842 in the morning. We were supposed to be out of here by like six. So we'll let you know how it goes. Hi, it's just afternoon and we've crossed into Maryland. We're here at the Tesla restart, recharging station, actually. Uh, Pia seems good. She got over being sick. Um, we're definitely way behind, but uh, it's starting to warm up a little. So we've just got into North Carolina. We've just crossed the border. We're at the North Carolina Welcome Center, which is closing in three days. So lucky we didn't miss this. We were two hours late out of, well, we were an hour late out of bed. We were two hours late getting the car. We sat through two traffic jams for two car accidents in Washington, D.C. And we got about two hours to go until we get our hotel for tonight. So it's been a long first day. All right, it's 1.30 in the morning. I'm pretty sure we're still in North Carolina. Um, we're at the fabulous... Red Roof Inn, because they take dogs. So, day one is coming to an end, which is actually the start of day two, because it's 1.30 in the morning. We, so, two hours late on the car this morning in Washington, D.C. We got stuck in two backups of accidents, so it took us three hours to get through Washington, D.C., and that's just on the expressway, not even going through the city. Finally got here, rolled into our hotel that we'd booked at... We booked it and we rolled in about 11.15. They checked me into a dirty room. I went downstairs. The manager brought me up to another room, which was clean. And I said, okay, I'll meet you at the front desk and give me new keys. And they couldn't give me new keys. So, three times up and down, and their answer was to give me new keys. So anyways, I decided it was, somebody's into some action here, what's going on? Um, so we just head on the road and we probably drove another half hour. We hit a couple of these hotels, so I don't know where we are. But the other hotel was dodgy and dark and I didn't think my car would be there in the morning. So at least here you can see there's plenty of lights and hopefully my car's here in the morning since it is almost morning. 
All right, we'll check in tomorrow morning. Anything to say, Pia? Do you want to say anything? No? You're tired? I had enough driving. We've both had enough driving. <sighs> Sometimes you question yourself when you do stupid things like leave hotels at one in the morning, but then sometimes it turns out okay. Oh, see, somebody's happy there. Anyways, we're asleep. It's like 1.45. We'll be off soon enough in a couple hours. All right, that's it from day one or the start of day two. Ten forty-five, Sunday morning. We've just entered Georgia. It's really, really getting warm now that once we got into South Carolina and Georgia. Um, still pretty dry. Everybody seems okay. Are you okay? Are you okay? Okay. All good. Okay. Say hi. Say hi. Are you warm? Are you warm? We're not even in Florida yet. Go get them. We're here at Draxon Farms, which is a sheep herding school for dogs. It is between Vero Beach and Port St. Lucie. Um, so we've just finished herding geese or ducks or something with beaks. Now we're having a little rest and then we're gonna move on to sheep. It's a back seat. Come on, buddy. Sorry. I'm confusing, confusing him. him. Yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, 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 I'm trying to get behind. Go get him. Behind. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> buddy. I didn't think she'd be scared. Come on, let's go. Get him. Get him. Go get him. Go get him. Come on, let's walk him around. Walk him around. Walk him around. That's it. Walk him around. Good job. Move him around. Come on. Keep moving them, keep moving them, keep moving them, keep moving them. That's it, good girl.
we made it. 1,400 miles I already we put on the car. We're here at First Data Field. We're gonna watch the Houston Astros play the New York Mets. Well, we're here on the grassy knoll at Port St. Lucie, and well, the Mets are being the Mets. Well, uh, this is our only unscheduled day in Florida. We had sheep herding one day, two baseball games. So we're in Sarasota, gonna do a little exploring. Behind us is Sarasota. This is the nice part, so this is the only part you see on TV. Um, I guess if you got a million bucks, it's pretty good. That part of the city is beautiful. The other part is kind of a little bit flat and old feeling. Um, very, dog on friendly here in Florida. Um, this is one of the few parks in the city you can actually even walk your dog. So it's kind of crazy. It's kind of the unofficial off-leash park even though there's a bunch of signs. So we're gonna head up to Brandon. We're gonna drive up along the beaches and see what's going on. Here, do you understand the sign? Do you understand what the sign says? Please don't feed the alligators. Yeah, no feeding the alligators, okay? Understand? Here we are with the mighty Land Rover Discovery. We're about 900 miles from home still. We've clocked in, I think, almost 18, 1900 miles so far. And they're just over the Georgia border right now. Still don't know where we're going tonight, but that's okay. Easy to figure out. South Carolina, just over the border from Georgia, deep in the South, Trump country, the South. Ready to go? Are you excited to go to North Carolina to stay and spend the night? Everyone's excited and really tired. It's South Carolina border. We're already 590 miles in. Somebody's been out on the pine cones. Somebody stinks and needs a bath. 110 miles and then we finally get to stop for the day, which will be about 700 miles today. We've had a very long day. 
say hi. We did uh, 705 miles today. And we're in a town that starts with L in North Carolina. We've just got a fabulous, we've got a beautiful pool view room. Awesome. And we're here. All right, that's it for tonight. One last day home. Are you looking for food? Are you looking for food? Huh? You don't want to eat your raw food that we had to go to Petco especially for? Beautiful. Some of North Carolina's finest. Actually, it's from California. Flip flop wines. So that's it, buddy. Last night in the hotel, are you happy? Are you happy finding food? Don't go into the beds, please. Somebody's really, really tired of traveling. Yeah, somebody really hates it. You really hate it, buddy? Look at those eyes. You're tired, aren't you, buddy? We haven't even started today. This truck right here was the first truck I had, a 1966 Ford pickup. So cool. Another day, another pet cow, this time in Virginia. I think Virginia. We're about 30 miles outside of Washington, D.C. As per usual, there's always traffic accidents. I have no idea why. Um, I guess we're not gonna make it to New York today, which is fine. There's supposed to be snow tonight, so we're just gonna try and sit here for an hour or so and just try and regroup and figure out what's going on. And somebody wants a break from the from all the travel. So we're a couple hundred miles from home. We're in Washington, just outside of Washington, DC, south of it. And we're gonna talk about what worked and what didn't work. Um, the SUV, well, the dog was supposed to sit in the back with a couple of beds and be able to walk all over. That didn't work. She just decided to sit in the passenger seats and somebody was there. So she got grumpy. We did too many miles yesterday. We did like 700. The food was kind of an issue because she had dry food for the first couple of days and then she stopped eating it and then she only eat, wanted to eat the raw for Petco. Um, if these dogs get most of their moisture th from food, it was kind of hard. So we had to do that. We got a cooler that was good. Um, what else was good? The paw wipes were good. Florida was really dirty. The South was really good. Um, other than that, no, everything worked out. We planned everything pretty good. <laughs> No other complaints. Uh, I think she got hot in the car. I mean, that was just because of Florida and just sitting in a dog bed. If you can't move around and you're always in the front seat. I tried to buy one of those cooling pads all over Petco, every Petco we went to every day and nobody had them. So they said it was too cold still, even though it was 80 degrees in Florida. Um, somebody's a bit tired back there. So I think she's pretty tired of the car. She'll be glad to get home. Looks like we're not gonna make it tonight. It's just too many miles and I'm tired. So that's fine. We're gonna try and get through Washington, D.C., maybe Baltimore. And then it's kind of a straight shot through in the morning because if we head back now, we'll get stuck in the traffic at the end of uh, the New York City getting into the city. All right. So we didn't make it home today. We did 705 miles, I think, the first day. So we only had 500 to do, <coughs> 500 to do today. But we just got tired and we haven't made it. Um, we're 169 miles from New York, which sounds close, but you have to get through New York. We spent about... How long did we spend? I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with Washington and Baltimore, but there's constantly car crashes. It's got to be the worst traffic in the world. So we've, we've, gone, we've got through Washington, through Baltimore, we got 169 miles. We'll be back in New York City. I never thought I'd be sad. I'd be glad to get back to New York City. More hotel drama but with the dog. But the dog is eaten. I've gotten a refund on a hotel that was supposed to allow pets and didn't allow pets. And um, that's it. So I'll try and do some notes from the road tomorrow. And uh, 
kind of summarize everything up. I don't know how it'll edit. I don't know if it'll be boring, it'll be exciting, but I can tell you right now I'm tired. And my dog is doing I don't know what, but she's obviously found something. What did you find? What have you found? Give it back. Me. Where is it? Give it to me. Give it to me. Give it to me. Baby Clifford, are you ready? Are you ready? <gasps> Show me some food. Arrived at your destination, 3,129 miles. Are you done? Are you ready to get out of the car? Yeah, I think so.